Hello, Sagittarius Divine Feminine. Welcome to Soul Good. I'm Amber Marie, and this is your energy check-in. This is a timeless reading and can apply to anyone who is Sagittarius with a Divine Masculine energy. So that could be a male or a female. It also could apply to someone whose Divine counterpart is a Sagittarius Divine Feminine. Okay. And again, it doesn't have to be a female. I also want to share that if you're curious about the decks that I'm using today, you can find a list of them in the description box below. You can also find links to my social media accounts, as well as links to information on personal readings and the Soul Good membership channel on Telegram. So before we jump into the decks, I do want to share with you that before I came into your reading, I pulled a couple of cards for you from the Gateway of Light activation to see what you might be experiencing at this time. So you did have two cards come out for you. The first one is Heart of Source, all-encompassing love, unconditional acceptance, and serenity. I do feel like you could be experiencing this acceptance of you, right? It's very interesting, this unconditional acceptance. I feel like you could be Divine Feminine moving into this energy of truly falling in love with yourself. And I think that's beautiful. Um, I'm actually kind of feeling like I need to congratulate you because it feels to me like it may have been a long time coming. I feel like there could have been things you've experienced in your life and it may have felt like it would never end, like you would never really love yourself, like you couldn't get past some of the things you've experienced or perhaps some of the things you've done or inflicted, right? It just feels to me like you're moving into this energy, if you haven't already, of really truly loving you. I feel like there's something here about um, a, a lot of healing that's been taking place. And I do feel there could be connections to your childhood, perhaps for someone specific, but it feels to me like there's been a lot of healing taking place. I feel like this could have been supported by meditation, prayer, journaling, connecting with your higher self in some way, shape or form, spiritual practices or healing modalities, maybe through different teachers mentors, or just different books, things you've picked up along the way, right? Um, and it does, again, it feels to me like it's been a long time coming. Yeah, and I, I feel like it's really a, more focused on yourself versus your external relationships or things like this. It feels very much an internal, an internal thing here. I mean, I, and I get that it's hard of source, right? But it, it feels to me like it's about that inner acceptance. So you also have here memories of Atlantis, spiritual acceleration, progress, and technology. For some of you, I do feel like you may have recently been drawn to a job or a career in technology or involving some kind of technology. Maybe you got like a YouTube channel or something, right? I, I don't know. It just feels like some, some have taken on new careers maybe involving technology or bit or recently been drawn to learning more about technology or something along those lines. There's also this energy here, like with that spiritual progress and acceleration. Again, I feel like there's this energy of like, it's been a long time coming. And I feel like you may have just like woke up one day and was like, Hmm, I think I like myself. <laughs> That's what it feels like to me. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, but it just kind of feels like it may have just come out of nowhere where you're like, huh, like, I feel like I'm pretty okay with myself. That's neat. Like, just kind of out of the note, out of the blue, which is interesting because there is blue energy here as well. I love that. It's so fascinating to me. So let's take a look and dive a little bit deeper into your current energy, Divine Feminine. What can you tell us, please? Father, Mother, Life, Universe, Spirits, Guides, Angels, our cosmic team, our ancestors, our higher selves. What can you tell us about Sagittarius Divine Feminine current energy, please? What do we need to know about Sagittarius Divine Feminine Current Energy? Thank you. You have one card coming out for you. And it did come out sideways or horizontal. Uh, typically for me, that is an energy of like going one way or the other. But I did feel called to pull it upright. So I feel like this is where we are. You do have the Virgin in the upright or light attribute position, maintaining symbolic purity of heart and spirit. So you have two different cards showing up here regarding that like source and unconditional love, 
right? And pure, right? Pure, that pureness of what love. And I said, right, I felt like you may have come to a space where you're like, hmm, I just really kind of like myself, like, right? And it's this radical acceptance of self. It's really interesting. But I feel here, I really feel for you that you could potentially have like recently opened up to love. You may have been kind of closed off from it for quite some time. So much so, actually, I'm getting a kind of a funny message. Um, so much so that you may even feel like you're like a virgin again, right? Like, I feel like you may have like been off the market, like not been playing around, like just minding your own business, focusing on you. And I feel like you've had a lot of revelations about yourself in doing so. If this applies to you. So please do remember, this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. But I feel like for some of you, you may feel like you're a virgin again because you haven't been with people. You haven't been, you know, focusing on that. I feel like you have been putting a lot of time and attention on yourself. And again, I do feel like there's some sort of spiritual connection there, whether that's prayer or meditation or journaling or something. I feel like there has been this almost um, energy or, or action or willpower or drive or something put behind kind of maintaining a spiritual practice of some sort. Doesn't mean you're religious. Okay. I just want to share that. But I love this because it feels to me, again, I, I'm i getting this energy too of like being born again. And did you see how beautifully that light just reflected off the card, the sunlight? Um, it's this energy of like being born again. But I mean that in the sense, not religious again. I feel like you've released a lot of fear. Excuse me. That's burpy. That burpy energy I'm getting, pardon me, is a release of fear for me. That's what I interpret it as. And that's how, you know, my guides show me these things. And I feel like you could have been releasing fear throughout this process, throughout this kind of introspective period. And I feel like in healing things, you've allowed yourself to release these fears and have potentially opened yourself up again to love. I do feel like there's still some fear there though lingering that you have may need to release around like being out of, out of that, um, not gain, but you know, not being involved in like love and relationship and things like that for a while. I feel like you may be a little bit, um, apprehensive maybe, but I feel like there's this energy of being born again in the sense that you, I feel are learning how to love you and coming to this entire new space of being all together, right? Like just feeling like a brand new person. And I feel like that could potentially be what has opened you up to love in a sense where maybe you found this confidence that you could have been lacking before, right? And I feel like that could have come through this learning how to love yourself and forgiving yourself and kind of moving through all of this healing that you could have done recently. The bottom of the deck is a saboteur in the reverse or shadow attribute position induces self-destructive behavior or the desire to undermine others, right? And First of all, this being at the bottom of the deck, it feels to me like this could be something you've overcome, right? Like you could have been someone who, you know, did, did self-sabotage relationships, right? Because the virgin in the reverse is a fear of intimate union. Okay. So maybe you experienced something in your childhood or in your past that, you know, brought about a fear of union in that way. And, and intimately, I feel not even necessarily physically, though that can be true as well. It feels to me like you could have had a fear of being intimate as in being vulnerable, um, letting your guard down. It feels to me like there have been potentially many circumstances or situations where you did not feel safe in any aspect, whether that be physical, mental, whatever. And so it feels to me like you could have potentially self-sabotage situations to try to protect yourself. Yeah. And, and I feel like there's this energy of like, I'm not letting my guard down. <laughs> like I can't, I can't because these things have happened in my past and I'm not about to experience that again ever. Right. Is what it feels like to me. So I feel like this could have been something you've been dealing with. And it's very interesting because this virgin energy 
and that feeling that I'm getting about you being reborn again or feeling reborn again, it really does feel like a whole different person. It really does feel like, oh my gosh, I can't believe like I like myself. I can't believe that I'm even being open to love or like ready or feel ready even. Even if you're not like dating, it just, I feel like even the fact that you're like, maybe I could is surprising for some reason. But take it as it resonates, okay? But it does feel like to me, even if this has nothing to do with dating at all, I do feel like you have been working on forgiving yourself for things that you've experienced or have inflicted in the past, right? Regard whatever that is. And I feel like there is this energy of moving into a space of unconditional love, not only for yourself, but for others as well. Tell us more about Sagittarius Divine Feminine current energy, please. You do have the Mother of Cups or Queen of Cups coming out here, which is, I feel, quite beautiful because the Queen of Cups is an energy of someone who is very compassionate, very sweet, very calm, very comforting, very loving, right? Just a beautiful, like, beautiful, beautiful energy. And I feel like with it coming out with this virgin card, it's almost like God saying, I said what I said, right? Like, I feel like this is an energy, and this energy may be new to you, right? Um, this energy of like feeling calm, feeling emotionally balanced, feeling, you know, in touch with your intuition, sensitive and being okay with that. Like this could all be very new to you, but I do feel like this is really just God saying, I said what I said, like you have now moved into, into this space of like emotional balance and a space where you feel comfortable with yourself and you're starting to be okay with being sensitive, being in touch with your emotions. You're learning the depths of yourself. And it's, I feel like it's like, I said what I said, because I feel like you're moving from a space of love. It's funny. I almost put that on top. Do you see that? Because I feel, I, and here's the thing, I feel like the reason why that just almost happened is because I feel like you're putting love first, love of yourself, love of things you like, love of other people in your life. Like, I just feel like you're putting love first. And I, and I love that. Like, it's absolutely beautiful. The bottom of the deck for you currently is the five of cups in the reverse. And a five of cups in the reverse is finding peace and moving on. Couldn't have said it better myself. Like, I really, truly feel like you are leaving things that have happened in the past because the five of cups in the upright is an energy of like loss and disappointment and all this more lower vibrational frequency type of energies. And I feel like you are finding peace in that. Like you are moving forward from that, right? Whatever that looks like for you, I feel like you are allowing yourself right? Because it's about acceptance. So allowing yourself to find peace, beautiful energies, and you should congratulate yourself because it's not something easy. It is not easy to do that. Can you tell us please how Sagittarius divine feminine can allow their energy to flourish? Okay. Thank you. So you have the raccoon and the cobra coming out for you. The raccoon is about masks off, right? Masks off. So I feel like you can allow your divine feminine energy to flourish by simply removing all the masks. Just, and it's interesting, right? Because you do have this virgin card talking about purity of heart and spirit. And I feel like this is really about just taking all the masks off, right? And I do feel like there's divine intervention taking place, giving you opportunities to do just that. Okay. So if you experience something that feels a bit like a challenge where you almost are fearful of taking that mask off, I feel like that's an opportunity for you, but use your discernment, use your intuition and do what you feel is right for you. With the Cobra, this is a beautiful energy because it is that energy of like an ever watching, ever present, always there protecting type of thing. And I feel like this is potentially, again, you may have recently 
for you, and recently doesn't necessarily mean like two days ago, okay, but you could have recently developed some sort of spirituality where you are speaking with, conversing with, talking to something bigger than yourself, whether you call that God, universe, father, mother, life, right, whatever you may call it, I feel like you could be potentially like giving things back to your, you know, creator, essentially. And I feel like this is an acknowledgement of you being protected, you being heard, right? That that energy being around you and assisting you. But I do feel like there needs to be an acknowledgement of this, I feel, for some reason, which could allow your energy to flourish. I'm also getting this energy of like, not, it's almost like when we experience new things and, and you know, take new paths and, and open ourselves up up to new experiences sometimes that can be can feel scary really it's just we don't know right it's just unknown it's it's not familiar right so there's there's almost this energy of like reminding you that you can allow your energy to flourish by not being on the defensive right um not necessarily sinking into any fears that may come up in understanding like it's not that you're afraid it's just unfamiliar and allowing yourself to have some of these experiences anyway and being open to love I'm seeing as well and open to passion as well I don't know why that's coming through uh interesting bottom of the deck is the crocodile for you and I really feel this is about letting your armor your guard down right? Um, intuitively, that's probably not at all close to what it would be in the guidebook, but intuitively I'm seeing this, you know, crocodile as like having this, um, very thick skin. And it feels to me like there's, could be a need here for you to let your guard down a bit, right? Like kind of let some things in, don't be afraid to go deep. <laughs> Take that as it resonates. Okay. And tell us more about this raccoon energy and how Sagittarius can allow their divine feminine energy to flourish. Tell us more about this raccoon energy, please. And how Sagittarius divine feminine can allow their, thank you. You have the ace of wands, which is beautiful because here's the thing. You're clarifying the raccoon and the raccoon energy is that masks off energy. The ace of wands is about willpower and desire. So here's the thing. It is also, I will say, ace of wands is also like creation, inspiration, um, passion, action, right? Ambition, that sort of thing. And I feel like you can allow your divine feminine energy to flourish by simply taking the masks off and putting behind who you are the energy like putting energy behind who you are if that makes sense it's like investing that new energy into the new you right like just i'm actually seeing like this image of like a masquerade ball and somebody just kind of like pulling the mask off and throwing it like i don't care which is really interesting there could be something here maybe you have created creative um excuse me maybe you have creative in like uh aspirations thank you that you have wanted to pursue and haven't, that could be where a mask is potentially. I, I don't know why I'm getting that, but there's, but it, it could be something you're passionate about that the mask needs to come off or that there needs to be ambition put behind that, right? Like it's almost this energy of like, I had this mask on pretending to be something I'm not. And it, it, you could potentially be exploring it, but not putting all the fire behind it. So it's almost this energy of like taking that mask off and putting all the fire behind whatever it is that is inspiring to you at this time. And I feel like that's going to help your divine feminine energy flourish. Tell us more about this Cobra energy, please. You have the Ace of Cups and the Three of Wands. Okay, so Ace of Cups, new feelings. Um, This could be new love coming in, right? And I feel like there that could have been that energy of like being open to passion, being open to new love, right? That sort of thing with that fire energy. Like I just feel like 
there, yeah, there could be new love coming in for you. So be open. Um, don't have your mask up, right? Like be open to that. I feel like if you have your defenses up with this three of wands here, that could bring in like obstacles, delays, and frustration. So I do feel like you can allow your feminine, ugh, excuse me, can allow your feminine energy to flourish. There's no reason to be nervous. You'll be fine. Okay. I don't know why I need to say that, but for some reason, nobody's judging you. Nobody's going to judge you. I don't know why I had to get that out, but it feels to me like being open, right? If you're open to some of these experiences, knowing that you're divinely protected, knowing that your heart's in the right space, you know, like, I feel like you could experience new love, but it's like, if you have your defenses up and you don't let people get close or you have masks on, right? Like there, you could experience obstacles, delays, and frustration because you're not living in your truth. And that is how you allow your divine feminine energy to flourish by living in your truth, feeling the new feelings, following your intuition, right? That sort of thing, like allow something to grow and bloom and blossom, even if it's not love. So if you're not, again, if you're not like, nope, I'm not looking for love. I don't have love. I'm like, as far as a relationship is concerned, I would say like, be open to new spiritual experiences. Be open to new spiritual experiences, right? And I would say if you experience obstacles and delays, they're probably divinely orchestrated because that Cobra is about, again, that like ever protecting, ever watching, always there energy. And so I feel like if you, you know, are experiencing some new things and then all of a sudden you experience blocks or delays, it's divine intervention taking place, which will subsequently allow you to flourish, right? You don't bring in negative lower vibrational things. You're being protected from that. So ultimately it's more beneficial for you in the long run, right? The pause, if you will. But I feel that there, there's something here about being open to new experiences, uh, with your spirituality, with your intuition, right. And, um, allowing some of those things to fill your cup. Truthfully, I feel like it's going to be something completely new for you, especially with that. Ace, you have two aces out here, two of them. The bottom of the deck is the seven of cups. Now in the reverse, it's an energy of like confusion. Okay. But I really, with this deck in particular, like I'm always drawn to the fact that there are six cups, but if you turn it, the card upright, it's like the dark and the moon and the moon in the tarot is the representation of illusions. Okay. So I often see this as like these six cups being full of illusion, right? Or appearing to be better than the one cup. But if we flip this up, the one cup is full of light, which for me is truth. Okay. Happiness, success, especially if we look at it from a sun or excuse me, from the tarot, um, point of view, the sun in the tarot is about joy, success, celebration, pleasure, right? Where the moon is about illusions can be about your intuition, but the unconscious and unclarity. So it's like choosing the six cups that are full of nonsense and bullshit or picking the one cup that's full of truth, which is far more valuable. So beings at the bottom of the deck, I feel like this is again, really about you standing in your truth, sitting in your truth, moving in your truth, speaking your truth, thinking your truth, right? Just really being incredibly authentic. And I feel like that's going to benefit you. And I feel like you'll experience that in your reality as well. So what is the way that Sagittarius can honor their divine feminine energy, please? Okay. So you do have Ellen of the ways, the number 12 with pattern. Yeah. And you know, what's fascinating is you had the saboteur card come up with, and it talks about self-sabotaging behavior. And I feel like this is the pattern that you're healing, especially with that green energy being drawn to that. I feel like you are healing patterns from your past again. And I feel like it has felt like it's been a long time coming. Right. And I, I feel like, again, I feel like it just kind of came out of nowhere. And I feel like you can honor your divine feminine energy by continuing to recognize and acknowledge any patterns that surface. Okay. 
to stand in your truth and heal those things, right? That's big energy I'm getting there. And the number 12 here reduces to three, which is about growth. And I feel like that's exactly what's taking place right now. Growth and healing. Yeah, you have the number 20, the goddess Hecate, with, I think that's how you say that, um, with the in-between. And I do feel like you are, like, it feels to me like you're right on the cusp of, like, reaching a new level, um, a new experience. But you might feel like it's kind of going a little bit slow. So there's an energy here of, like, honoring where you're at, right, is what I'm really picking up, like. How do you honor your divine feminine? Well, be where you are, right? That's, I'm feeling that for sure. Like, and it's okay to be in a kind of limbo state where you're like shedding the old self and embracing the new simultaneously. I feel like there's a message there about allowing you to just be where you are and be okay with that. Yeah. And release any fear, release any fear around that, right? Because I'm getting that burpy energy again. Yeah, look at this. Go with the flow, right? Just be where you are. The bottom of the deck is the goddess Rhea with flow. So this is about, again, just being where you're at, going with the flow, allowing things to, it's a surrender. Thank you. State of surrender. Step into a state of surrender. Because I feel like this is about building new foundations for your future, for these new experiences. And I feel like going with the flow and stepping into a state of surrender or sitting in a state of surrender it's almost like you slow down to speed things up, right? Is how, is how I'm, it's how the energy is coming through. Tell us more, please, about patterns and how Sagittarius Divine Feminine can honor their energy. Tell us more about these patterns, please. Oh my goodness gracious. You could have been exposed to patterns around love uh, and, you know, move moving away from those because I did see the two of cups and the eight of cups. Two of cups is about um, partnerships and the eight of cups is about walking away from things. Thank you. Look, at I said it and now cards come out. So interesting how that happens. Okay, so with these patterns, you do have the temperance card and temperance is this energy of patience. <laughs> So I feel like there could have been this, I feel like you could have been exposed to um, patterns where you haven't been patient and maybe things haven't worked out the way that you would have liked them to. Because here's the thing, you also have this five of swords here and the five of swords is an energy of like um, unbridled ambition and like winning at all costs. So I feel like there's this energy here about honoring your divine feminine by being patient, like not needing to engage in that, like control. I need to have the things figured out and like win and make it work the way I want it to type of pattern. Like there's an energy of like acknowledging that, recognizing that, not slipping into that energy. Right. And instead it's almost like finding that patience, finding that middle path because temperance is a, excuse me, temperance is about a middle path. Right. And I'm being drawn to the fact that there's this sword going right across the middle of the five of swords card. And so, right. It's, I feel like th there's this energy of like being patient, not like leaning one way or the other surrendering. And the temperance card is often this energy of divine being surrounded by the divine, having the divine working in your life, protecting you. Right. And look how the light sunlight just started to shine on these cards. I do feel like the divine is around you, protecting you still, right. That energy has come up more than once. And I stand by it, but I feel like with this patterns card, it's like you honor yourself by being patient and not, you know, finding middle ground and not slipping into maybe wanting to control things, right? It's like really surrendering and letting the divine do what it needs to do. And that could involve potentially, uh, separating from other people, perhaps people who are not good for you. I don't know why I'm getting that. Could be for someone specific. Okay, tell us more about the in-between, please, with Sagittarius Divine Feminine honoring their energy. Okay, let me just see here. I thought one flipped over, but maybe not. Nope, just that one? Yes. Okay, so we're just taking the one card here. 
This is the Mother of Pentacles or Queen of Pentacles in the reverse with this in between. It's very interesting to me because the Mother or Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is an energy of like being like self-centered and like maybe jealous. Um, It can, oh yes, thank you. It can also be this energy of like, I feel like be, being too comfortable, right? Like being like too, you're like in your comfort zone type of thing. Uh, I feel like some of you are being pushed out of your comfort zone and are like in this space of being in between. But I feel like as far as honoring your divine feminine with this energy, it's like honor yourself by being okay with being fucking uncomfortable, right? Like the, in, the in between is a, is a space of unknown, right? And, and with the queen of pentacles or mother of pentacles, it's like, in the upright, she knows she has all the resources she needs. First of all, she's very resourceful, very practical, secure, right? In the reverse, it's like, I don't know shit about my security. My, you know, like my stability. I don't know nothing. Like everything is very unstable right now. And so it feels to me like you can honor yourself by just, again, being where you're at, being okay with being uncomfortable being okay with not having all the answers, with not knowing all the things, with not without knowing like the hows and the whys and the wheres, right? That's what it feels like to me. It's the, and it's this inner knowing as well. So I feel, yeah, it just feels to me like you can honor yourself by just being where you are and letting yourself be where you are. Okay, so the bottom of the deck for you, Sagittarius Divine Feminine, is the chariot in the reverse. The chariot is an energy in the reverse of like loss of direction, which could be how you feel being in this space currently. You could feel like you don't know what the hell you're doing, which way's up, what to do, right? And I feel like it could be simply because you're in this transitionary period right? Where you're coming into a new way of being. So it could feel like that. And I feel like I need to tell you that, that there's nothing to fear being in like a state of limbo. Often when we're kind of put in that space, it's because the creator needs us to be in that space, right? Whether that's because we need to get quiet and listen to ourselves, whether that's because we need to give our physical body the ability to rest and recoup, whether that's because we need to get away from all the noise, like there's often a slowing down for some reason, right? And the chariot and the upright is often about movement, success, uh, discipline, that sort of thing. And with it being in the reverse, it feels like slow, a slowing, right? Like some, it's slowed down, but it also has this energy of like, it's okay if you don't know what direction you're going. It's okay if, you know, things you don't know the outcome. You don't know where the journey ends because you have flow here as well, right? So it's two energies showing up of like that it's okay to not have a direction, like just go with it, just go with the flow. So Sagittarius Divine Feminine, I feel like you're again, going through a big period of growth at this time. You do have you know, some major arcana cards out here for you. And I do feel like this is a lot about your own depth yourself, like not so much about dealing and healing with things outside of self, but inward, which is beautiful. And I do feel like you're in the space of the in-between, but don't fear that. Uh, go with the flow, open up to new experiences, new love, and you might be surprised what you find. I want to thank you so very much for being here. I'm truly so very grateful for your time and your energy. I'm sending you so, so much love, tons of hugs. Please remember that you've got this. God's got you.